It's Mr. Sun, and now I'm going to walk you through how to write an abstract in Task 1 that the examiners want. I'm also well aware that uh, this part is quite confusing and quite frustrating that caused so much disappointment in IELTS candidates, in you, in you guys. So, uh, however, it doesn't have to be that much complicated. And for the start, the only puzzle that's missing is the right direction. The good news is I'm, gonna, I'm here to give you the, 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 the right direction. So from now on, uh, we are launching 11 videos to explain each and every uh, type of uh, alternating task one that you might encounter in the actual exam. So before we get down to business, let me give you some background info about myself. I'm 25 years old and I've been teaching for over six years. I've taken out three times. So last, last one was two years ago. And you know, uh, it was the uh, last score was 7.5. So I, I have to be implicitly, completely candid with, with you guys. So uh, having said that, for the record, uh, if I'm given $10, $10 for each essay that I wrote, uh, you know, worth eight band score, I'd be driving a Ferrari down there. So, uh, uh, having said that, if you, if you watched all of these videos, all of these, uh, you know, videos uh, carefully and apply them to your writing, I give you 100% or even 1000% guarantee that you're going to benefit to a great extent. You're going to benefit a lot. So, uh, for the time being, stay tuned and, you know, cheers. So uh, now let's get the ball rolling. Uh, uh, so uh, we're gonna start with five common task one mistakes that stop you getting from over band six. So the first one is not writing a clear overview. So if uh, those, who, those who don't know what overview is, I'm gonna give you some uh, description, of, for, uh, the description for that. So the overview is a brief summary or brief explanation of the entire graph of what's happened. So which, which figure increased, which figure decreased, which figure didn't change. So that's the overview. Brief description, brief explanation, brief summary. So next one is uh, write, writing about everything. So, uh, the, you know, rookies, especially the, those who, who start uh, who start writing task one not long ago, they they try to include everything without any order. So uh, they don't group anything. They don't uh, they don't order. They don't. Uh, that's 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 a complete mess. Okay. So the uh, next one is over over complicating the question. Sometimes you know. Uh, you you, uh, you gotta be just simple. So uh, the task one, your response has to be simple. Don't try to add pineapple to a plough, to a mant to a mustard. Okay. So even even if you add pineapple, orange, or let's say avocado to mustard, it doesn't. You know, it, they they don't make um, they don't make the food delicious. They don't make the food you know uh, exceptional. So simplicity is the key here. So, as, uh, as I mentioned, not organizing ideas logically. So that's, uh, I would translate this one is uh, writing with a mess, not ordering, not, not preparing, not, not organizing, right? Not, not organizing the ideas, the info here. So be, be organized, okay? The next one is describing data incorrectly. So that's quite simple. Uh, if, let's say, uh, the, the sales of uh, Captiva increase, uh, when you say, uh, well, if in the graph the sales of captive increased, but you say the sales decreased, that's uh, that, that's a uh, wrong, uh, you know, wrong explanation, wrong wrong data. So be careful, okay? Before writing, study the graph, be careful, and then start start writing it.